Hey everybody, it's Joe from GreenLightSound.com and today we've got a video on how to EQ acoustic guitar. And, you know, whenever you hear a video about how to EQ anything, you have to sort of take it with a grain of salt because EQ decisions are so much dependent upon the instrument that was played, how it was recorded, the mic that was used, the preamp that was used, the room that was recorded in, the genre that you want to mix it in, the other elements of the mix that the acoustic guitar has to fit in with. So keeping all that in mind, I'm just going to give you some general ideas of things you want to do with EQ just general concepts that work with acoustic guitar. When EQing in general, what you want to think about is pulling out the things you don't like and boosting the things you do like. A lot of people advocate subtractive EQ where all you do is cut, and that can work, but with today's modern tools, like I have FabFilters Pro Q3 here, it's a totally digital EQ, boosting is going to sound okay as well. With early digital tools, it might not have sounded so great, but with these and with any analog emulations you might have, outboard gear that's modeled as a plug-in, you're certainly okay to boost. So I'm going to do some of both. I'm going to cut and boost in this signal. So the first thing I want you to do is hear the guitar track as is raw, no processing. So the first thing you want to do when making EQ decisions is listen to the recording and see what your ears tell you. What I'm hearing is there's a little bit of extra low end in there that I want to get rid of. I'm hearing some boxiness or woofiness in the low mids. I'm not hearing a whole lot of articulation in the top end or air at the top end. So we want to sort of bring out that boxiness and boost up that top end. So now I'm going to play it. And as I'm playing, I'm going to go through Pro Q3 and start to EQ. So the basic idea of what I just did, I pulled the high pass filter up until it was too much and then pulled it back a little bit just to get rid of those very low sub frequencies, the rumble of the car guitar, which we don't need. The low mids, I just did a low shelf, barely pulling anything out to get rid of some of that boxiness, though the filter helped out a lot there. For some articulation, I boosted up those upper mids around 4K and just opened up that top end for some air and kind of counteracted it with a low pass filter here to roll off the extreme high so I'm not boosting way up into this upper frequency area. So here it is before and after. One of the things you don't want to do is do some really drastic processing if you have an exposed element like this acoustic guitar. If you really boost it a ton at the top end or cut out a ton of the low end on that shelf, it's going to sound unnatural. And in some mixed situations that works, but in this one I want to keep it kind of natural so it's some subtle processing. So this was a digital EQ version of this. What we're going to do now is take a look at the UAD Neve 1073 emulation a model of outboard gear, and we're going to do the same thing or apply the same concepts but using this sort of limited feature set that you'd have in an analog modeled EQ. So I'm going to play it. Uh, one thing about the 1073, if you're not familiar with it, it's got a low pass, sorry, a high pass filter, it's got a low shelf, it's got a bell filter in the middle and a top shelf, fixed frequency for the top shelf. And this up here is the preamp modeling, which we'll engage a little bit of and try to drive the preamp for some color on this too. So it's a three band EQ with a bottom end filter. So let's start by filtering out the low end and I'll kind of go up each EQ decision here up the channel strip.
So the Neve is an aggressive EQ for sure. You don't need very much booster cut to pull out a ton there. But that high shelf and mid-range bell EQ and com combination and conjunction really bring out a lot of that pick attack and open up the top end air in that one. You really need to pull much of the 220 hertz out either for it to sound good. So there it is. And again, EQ is very subjective and based upon how things are recorded in the mixing, mixing situation you want them in. If you had a really, really dense mix, you might want to push that top end and upper mids even more to get them to cut through everything. But these are just some general ideas on how to EQ acoustic guitar. Don't forget, if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you in the next one.